How you doing, everybody? I hope you're doing okay. It's uh, kind of nice here right now. Uh, in fact, it's e even uh, lightning and thundering, which is rare around here in these parts. In fact, I looked it up, and the last time it rained on this date was 29 years ago. So, uh, but anyway, let's get to our lesson. The title of the lesson is A Spiritual Examination. And of course, many of us know what is involved when a medical doctor brings us in to examine us. The doctor is going to evaluate you based upon appearance, first of all. I mean, if you're bleeding, the doctor will assume you are hurt somewhere. If you're screaming, yeah, the doctor's going to know you're hurting somewhere. And if you're limping, the doctor will examine probably your legs and so forth. And after the initial appearance from the exam, the doctor's going to ask you how you feel and why you come, you came to see the doctor. The doctor will listen and compile all the statistics and make a determination if you need treatment or medicine. And so um, that's what they do. And then, of course, uh, there's times when nothing's wrong with you, but you must comply with maybe a legal requirement to either get a job or keep one. Sometimes it's just common sense to get a doctor check out after a traumatic event just in case you might have missed something in your self-examination. Alright, so, and then of course we all remember the exams in school. We had to take tests from time to time. See, this served several purposes. One purpose was to allow the teacher to evaluate where you were in your development and if you need further testing or we're ready to go on to more in-depth studies. And you, you also were looking for your grades, hoping you were good enough to progress further on the education ladder. For some reason, we never get beyond the need to evaluate ourselves, or if we do not have the training to allow someone with training to evaluate us. And we need to check ourselves from time to time. A lot of times we just think I'm, everything's good enough and we don't progress any further. And so this really becomes a lifelong exercise. You know, tests in school, tests on the job, tests in the doctor's office. Why all the tests? Well, to see if we are qualified to continue or if we need further training in some area. Now, the most important examination you can consider is your spiritual condition. See, in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, we are told to test yourselves see if you're in the faith. In other words, examine yourselves to see if you have the faith necessary to continue or if you need to acquire more faith. So it is a very wise thing to do often. See, our soul will continue beyond this life and that's what we must realize and where our soul ends up will be based upon the decisions we make in life. The smartest thing we can do is make sure we are making the wise, sound decisions that will help us get to heaven. You know, in the Old Testament, we find that God often tested his subjects. In fact, when he, he did something for them, he says, I did it as a test. Like when he gave them the manna. Of course, the manna was supposed to be given every day, except, and they were supposed to collect only a day's portion. And then, of course, on the day before the Sabbath, they were to collect a double portion, but uh, some people would go out and they'd gather a whole bunch, and then, of course, it would be rotten in the next morning. And so God said he was testing. He says, here's some specific rules for you, and so he's going to see, are you going to comply with these rules? And there's quite a few times in the Old Testament he basically gave out rules and later on would state the purpose he gave those rules was a test to see if the people were going to be faithful, if they were going to do what God asked them to do. And so, and we, so many times we see that um, the saying if they're going to be obedient is the reason for the test. Now in the New Testament we learn that God does not test people in the same way. And yes, but we are supposed to test ourselves. Now, you, you start thinking, okay, that can be very dangerous. 
when people start testing themselves, what standard of measurement are they going to use? You know, in 2 Corinthians, Paul taught, warned about those who test themselves by using the standard of themselves. And, of course, they're always going to be right. Just like Proverbs says, every way of man is right in his own eyes. And so, yes, and then, of course, we, we can always compare ourselves to others. And depending on who we compare ourselves to, we might think, well, okay, I'm better than they are. I mean, I might be going to church and go past somebody who's sitting on the corner begging for food or something. I mean, the so, yeah, I mean, I might say, well, I'm not like that person. And then the person laying in the street drunk because they got, someone did offer them some money and they went and bought their booze. So, um, yeah, we can compare ourselves to that. But what we really need to compare ourselves to is the example of Christ. All right. Now, really, we do not need to take exams except the self-exams. And so, um, we, we need to turn to God and study what God has already done for us and apply those things in our life. All right. See, we're, we're, we're told in 1 John 4 and verse 1, to test the spirits, to see whether they come from God. Yeah, there's an examination. And the spirits he's talking about are those who would teach you things. And the reason is that the information God has given us will be abused, and some, actually many, will teach error. And they won't handle the truth, and a lot of the people won't want the truth, so they'll want somebody who will tickle their ears. Yeah, that's what Paul said there in uh, 2 Timothy 4, verses 3 and 4. So, we are required to examine what others teach to see if it is according to Scripture. You know, Luke uh, commended the noble Bereans for searching the Scriptures daily and confirming what was being preached unto them. You know, Acts 17, 11. So, uh, we see that nothing in life really changes. We find that we need to be examined for various reasons throughout our lives. Sometimes it's a question of, do we have the skills to drive a car? So we have a driving test. Maybe when we get up in years, uh, we become more feeble and it becomes questionable whether we're able to drive a car. So we have to start taking driving tests when we reach uh, an old age. And so, yeah. And then, of course, after a traumatic event or some uh, health event like a heart attack or a seizure or something, you may lose the ability, your, your driver's license. But the best exam you can do for yourself is to examine your life, compare it with Jesus, and examine what you're doing in light of God's Word. That's the best exam you can take for yourself. So you follow the teachings of the Bible... And really, you cannot go wrong. So you'll learn what God has desired of your life, and eventually, you'll end up in heaven. I mean, that, that, that's, why, that's why we are to examine ourselves. And any time we examine ourselves and are satisfied with what we find, we have a problem. Believe it or not, uh, we, we really do have a problem. We should never be satisfied with where we are. But we should always be developing ourselves to be something better. To, to, if that means nothing more than just learning more about what God wants from us. Learning some things and doing some things that maybe we haven't done before, but things that God wants us to do. Maybe sharing the gospel message might be one of those things. Maybe that's something that uh, you haven't really been involved in. Uh, perhaps it is teaching a class. Uh, a Sunday school class. You need some education for that. You need some practice. And so there, there's another thing you can do. Uh, preparing yourself to encourage others. And then, of course, there's always the opportunity to show hospitality towards someone or to help someone out. I mean, you, you may not have a lot of money, but you can help them out in other ways. You can... 
maybe fix them a meal. You can uh, maybe go over and wash their dishes for them or something like that. There's always something you can do. And so you need to examine yourself to see if you can do those things. So self-exam is a great thing to do if we're using the right standard. So we encourage all of you to use the right standard and that standard we should be looking at is Jesus Christ and following his example. All right, that's our lesson for today. Uh, enjoy your day. It's the Lord's Day. So uh, if you haven't been there yet, uh, enjoy your time with the saints and, uh, uh, and be prepared to worship God. And you have a good day. And hopefully, Lord willing, we'll be back again tomorrow with another lesson. All right, bye-bye for now.